Welcome guys, welcome to live. It feels good to be back. Good to be back at home, good to be back in Texas. I'm not even talking into the damn microphone because I'm freaking rusty. So now, let me go ahead and repeat that since it was probably just like It feels good to be back. Good to be back home. Good to be back in Tejas. Good to be out of the damn sun because holy frick, it was hot in Florida. <laughs> It was so damn hot in Florida, uh, especially when you're waiting out in lines to get on rides and it's uh, the sun's beating down on you and uh, you take your hat off and you throw it in a locker because you don't want your hat to fly off on the freaking Velocicoaster or freaking Space Mountain. So, well, actually Space Mountain was all indoors. Better example. Uh, I don't know. I can't remember. I have... I think I have minor brain damage from some of those rides because bam, my, my head was just like bam, 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 uh, 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 uh. I love roller coasters, but holy frick, they are, uh, they are violent at times. Anyway, guys, let me switch this over to live chat. Uh, Rusty is my middle name right now, but it looks like Mr. Frail Vampire, Frail Vampire was the first person in the chat to say hello i am early today guys it is still uh on the east coast i guess it's 522 on my coast in the central coast it's 422 but i have the day off from work today because i traveled and i was in florida earlier this morning so i decided to go early as a lead-in for my boys the sweet spot network uh kyle is going on at 6 15 Eastern time, so that'll be 5.15, so in a, in a little less than an hour, my friend Slapshot Toys will be going live with an edited video. I do not have an edited video. If you did not know, if you do not follow me on Instagram or Facebook, I have been on vacation since Thursday. I have been in Florida, in Orlando, at Disney and Universal. I took a lot of footage I will have a vlog. It's a vacation vlog. There is some toy hunting in there. There is some some haulage in there, but uh, you got to wait for next week for that because I got to edit it. It's a lot of footage. So um, this week's contribution by me is this live stream. So if you're watching it now, hello, thank you for being here. I wasn't expecting a lot of people to be here because a I didn't announce it and b it's still work time and it's on a freaking Monday. So. Uh, but Slapshot Toys is here, and he asked me what did I think of Mummy. Um, I will give a spoiler on that one. So basically, I in the vlog, I think almost every ride that I went on, I gave like my first reaction. But the Mummy ride, at that point, I had a bit of a headache. So it was a little jerky to me. It was, it was a little jerky, but it reminded me of Space Mountain, is what I thought of that one. But watch next week's vlog, because it's... Uh, a lot of footage at Disney, a lot of footage at Magic Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, Universal Studios, Islands of Adventure. It was a freaking awesome time. I had a great time. Still have a bit of a neck ache and head ache from all the jerking and freaking banging, all that action. But anyway, Dank Chez is here, Fred Salinas, Bullwinkle 80, Malika Mabane, peace to you, my friend, Sammy Swoleball. Uh, Darth Primus, Trevor McGuire, how's it going guys? Dustin, Dustin Alft, uh, or Alft, hey hey, what's up man? H how's it going Dustin? Did you guys like the Suicide Squad? I, fr I freaking loved it, I freaking loved it. I saw it uh, two nights ago, I want to see it again with the missus. I watched it by myself the first time. Missus is going to watch it with me again, I want to see it in the theater. I freaking loved it, I absolutely loved it. I hope we get more figures. No spoilers. No spoilers in the comments, please, for the Suicide Squad. But I loved it. Absolutely. Chris Deal. Since he streams, best part of the week. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Mark Rose. Greedo in a Speedo. What's up? Frail Vampire, have you swapped the head for the Mafex DKR bet? No, I have not yet. I still have to locate that box. Because for a lot of the accessories that I have, I actually keep the accessories in the box. Especially if I'm keeping the box. So i got to locate that box and swap the head out because I have seen pictures of the DKR Triumphant Batman Mafex figure with the gray-haired Bruce Wayne. And it looks really good. So uh, that is something I definitely want to do. 
Benny Hawkins is here. Trevor McGuire. I rode my favorite coaster at Silverwood three times because there was no line. I couldn't turn my head for three days. Uh, there was, uh, let's see, if I can remember offhand, I will tell you the ones that um, affected me physically. Velocicoaster, because it's the scariest freaking ride I've ever been on in my entire life. Uh, the Hulk at uh, Universal Islands of Adventure uh, did not feel good after that one. Neck and head hurt after that one. The Mummy, probably as a result of the Hulk. I'm giving spoilers away for the vlog. I want you to watch the vlog. But the one that I really did not like, did not like, it really, really effed me up royally, is the Harry Potter's Forbidden Journey. Holy frick. I've never been so close to barfing after a ride than after riding that. That was not uh, a good situation for me. But I, I, I held my cookies down. I held them down. But, uh, yeah. Watch the vlog next week. It'll be a lot of fun. Uh, and what's Silverwood? I've never been there before. Where's that? McButter Gollum, how's it going? My buddy Kyle's here, Slapshot Toys. Once again, Slapshot Toys is going to be going on a premiere... 6.15 Eastern Time, 5.15 uh, Central Time. So this stream will end uh, prior to that, probably at 5.14. So you guys can jump over and watch Kyle's video. And then Craig, not another retro channel, is going on after Kyle. So we'll have some stuff to watch after this is done. I do have a haul here, guys. I actually had some stuff show up on the porch while we were gone. Uh, we have various neighbors that watch our house while we're gone and they bring our packages in thankfully so that's very very awesome so i have one two three four five six items here that i want to show you but uh leon is here mark 44 prime how's it going uh fred salinas hello from san antonio comments jump so let me scroll back up um hankin is here how's it going hankin collecting 365 i know most people that are on the west coast are probably not going to be here uh for this stream so hopefully you're watching it on the replay. Hopefully you do catch this on the replay. Because like it's still freaking like 2.30 in the afternoon on the West Coast. So um, unless you work nights, I'm not expecting anyone from the West Coast or the, the Mountain Coast to be here. Uh, WTF Fitz Juan, how's it going? Emo Peter, how's it going? Francisco Marquez, RMD Collective, Fabulous Disaster. Dennis Simone, what's up, man? Uh, Eric Gant. How was the butter beer, dude? What's it taste like? Okay, I will tell you that. That's another spoiler for the vlog. But um, if you go to Universal Studios or Islands of Adventure, and you go to either Hogsmeade at Islands of Adventure, or you go to uh, Diagon Alley at uh, Universal Studios, and you tr and you want to try the butter beer, please, I'm begging you, get the frozen butter beer. It's so much better than the regular butter beer. I had the regular butter beer. I'm like, ooh. Not very good. Kind of tastes like cream soda with like butterscotch, like froth or foam at the top. And then I had the frozen. And I was like, holy frick, that was good. And then I had another frozen. Not not right after that, but like later on the day. And then the next day I had another frozen. So that tells you the frozen, vastly superior to the regular butterbeer. So there's my suggestion. Don't get any... I mean, if you want to get it with, like, rum or whatever the frick they put in it, they do an alcohol version. I didn't do that. I didn't want to, like, be all tipsy at, at this at the frickin' the studios. So I just got the frozen butterbeer. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. And the way you drink it, they give you a straw. Drink it from the cup first, so you get that little butterscotch mustache, and then use the straw. It's awesome. There you go, guys. Check out the vlog. You'll see more about that. Um, Frail Vampire says, sounds like a great vacation with all that jerking. <laughs> a lot of jerking going on. <laughs> McButter Gollum. Uh, I used to work at Universal Studios. I didn't really like it there. If you had to stand in the heat, I wouldn't have liked it either because there was a lot of heat. And a lot of, uh, I heard a lot of, like, angry people. Like, angry people, like, having to put stuff in lockers and angry people not knowing about queues and jumping queues and going at the wrong times and... A lot, a lot of frustration I heard there, but I, we had a great time. But I could see where someone that was working there would get frustrated. Omega Weapons says, Nom Nom. Hell yeah, this guy. Freaking awesome. Love that dude. McFarlane is making Birds of Prey Harley. F I saw that, and it actually looks really good. Emo Peter said that. I really need to make it back down to Universal. Loved our trip back in April. I recommended to the wife that uh, if and when, or 
when we go back down to Orlando for either Disney or Universal, we're going to go in like January or February where it's nice and cool. We can wear jeans. We're not sweating our bees off. Um, but yeah. What's going on down the hall? Tay-Tay's on uh, frickin' Skype. Let's see. I really need to... Ma oh, I read that one. Have you got that Mayfax Mandalorian if you order... I didn't order that one for Yale Vampire. Actually, I'm sticking with the... Uh, the Black Series on that one. Jamelin Parks. Tuesday Crew. Representing. Mephisto Mephisto. Did Pete Davidson... Holy cow. I gotta shut my door because Tay-Tay's being loud as frick out there. Hey, Tay! Can you shut my door? Ugh. You're being quite loud in the hallway there. Whatever. Thanks, sweetie. Love you. <laughs> Kisses. Yeah. Jeez Louise. Uh, did Pete Davidson die in Suicide Squad? Haven't seen it yet, but I'm guessing he was the first to die. I can't tell you that. I, that would be a spoiler, and you need to watch the movie to find out. Silverwood is a Six Flags near Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Did I butcher that pronunciation? Did you get any hauls while you're on vacation? I did. I'm going to share those. So I have uh, a couple items to share in the actual vlog, which you're going to see next Monday. But this is stuff that arrived while I was gone. Let me just go ahead and get started, since a lot of you are probably just watching this for the haul, and I haven't shown a damn thing yet. So I have a, a little bit of a shelf. You can't see it right now, but it's a McFarland shelf. And I change it out because I have uh, a few different properties by McFarland Toys. Uh, I had the Suicide Squad up there. I removed them and put uh, Justice League up there. And uh, I actually got this one in the mail. He is uh, one of the main bad guys in the Justice League Snyder Cut. And I say Snyder Cut because this is his look from the Snyder Cut. He looked different in the, uh, I guess, the Whedon Cut. Um, but bam, I got Steppenwolf, baby. So that was the first item. This showed up from GameStop. Uh, I really, really like the look from the Snyder Cut a lot more than how he looked in the Joss Whedon Cut. I thought he looked more menacing. Um, I thought they did more with the character in the Snyder Cut. But there you go. There's Steppenwolf. There's the first pickup. I don't know if I even have room on the Just League shelf. I'm going to have to shuffle some stuff around. Maybe I'll swap him out with Darkseid. Um... Do something like that. I do want to pick up the armor dark, dark side though. Let me know if you guys picked up that armor dark side. Do you like that one? I think it looks awesome. I like the unarmored one that I currently have in there, but uh, armored looks really good too. So there's the first item in the haul: little Steppenwolf McFarlane action deluxe figure. It was thirty nine ninety nine on GameStop, and I think I had a little coupon. I think I paid like thirty bucks for it, with either a coupon or something. They had some kind of sale, something. All right, so found that Spawn Violator Heavy, dude. I saw, um, I think Craig that one, got that one too. I really want that Violator. I'm going to have to start hitting targets. I haven't hit any stores since like last Wednesday. So I really, really want that Violator. He looks awesome. Um, let's see here. Native Sun, how's it going? Darth Primus, I'm West Coast working from home. Very cool. Hopefully having a productive day. Doombot is here. Howdy, how's it going? I start at 4 a.m., so I'm usually home by 1 p.m. That's how we avoid nasty traffic out here in Seattle. Very, very cool. I need to get a Kraken jersey. You said Seattle, so that reminded me I want to get a Kraken jersey. I don't know who I would get on it. Maybe Vince Dunn. I like Vince Dunn. Who else? Uh, Eberle? Jordan Eberle? I don't know. I'm not sure who I'm going to get on it. Hankin said, I'm good. It's 7.30 a.m. Tuesday here, so it's the future where Hankin is. Just uh, home from work, night shift. Glad I could catch the live before heading to bed. Well, I'm going to be on here until, one more time, I'm going to be on here till 5.14 Central Time, 6.14 Eastern Time, because my buddy Slapshot Toys is going to be premiering a video at 6.15, one minute later. So I'm keeping an eye on the clock here. Let me show you the next item in the haul. Actually, you know what? I'll show you the next two items. This one I ordered from um, Walmart, and it showed up. I already have one version of this figure, and um, this one looks a little bit lighter in color. I don't know if the sculpt is any different at all, but it has come with a couple additional accessories that the other version did not come with. This is a Marvel Legends figure. I like his character a lot in the show that he was in, 
and he is played by Wyatt Russell. He is John F. Walker. John F. and Walker, baby. U. Not U.S. Agent yet. He was the Captain America. John F. and Walker comes with the shield. Comes with the Wyatt Russell face sculpt. He was freaking awesome in the show. He was probably one of my favorite things in this show. I think he's an awesome actor. Uh, he was also in a movie called Overlord, which was like a it was like a World War II horror kind of thriller slash sci-fi <laughs> slash zombie flick. It was an awesome movie. He was awesome in it. So I am a fan of his uh, his acting. So I got this one. Walmart exclusive John F. and Walker from Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And again, I think he looks a little bit lighter in color. I can't see him because he's like obscured by Zemo and uh, Bucky right now. But he looks light. The blue looks lighter on this version. So I got that. Walmart. This right here is an unusual pickup. And I will tell you the reason I picked this up. It is a McFarlane figure. Right? Hopefully. Yes, it is. It's a McFarlane figure. I bought this figure specifically for the accessories. Two of them, to be precise. Uh, but I think the figure looks kind of cool, and he's going to be just kind of a generic dude. A generic villain? A generic foil? I don't know. It's a Fortnite figure. So I bought a Fortnite figure by McFarlane. McFarlane Toys. I specifically wanted the McFarlane version, not the Jazzwares version. And I'll show you why in a second. But I got this guy right here. He is AIM. A-I-M. He appears to be an android, a robot. Again, he could be just like a generic, cool, robot, bad guy. Maybe just like a freaking uh, minion of someone in the collection. But can you figure out why I bought this figure? Any guesses? I'm not looking at the comments yet, but take a wild, take two wild guesses why I bought this figure and who I'm going to assign these specific accessories to. See those two gunskis? Those big old Desert Eagle looking gunskis? Guess who's going to get those? This guy right here. Peacemaker, John Cena who I freaking loved in the movie. Honestly, the whole cast, the whole cast was freaking perfect. Awesome in the movie. And uh, he did, mm, not even a spoiler, he did use the sword in one scene, but I really want him to have uh, some gun skis because he used those more frequently in the movie. So he's going to get those two bad boys. Um, and I might even open these guys up, put a gun ski in his hand, see how it looks and show you how it looks. So if you are thinking about equipping Mr. Peacemaker with a couple uh, bullet shooters, then you'll know how it looks and you can decide if you want to invest in this figure. Uh, I spent, it was 19 something, 1979 on um, Amazon for this one. So this one arrived while we were gone. And one more time for those gun skis. I think they look pretty good. But I got three more items here to show you. Uh, let's get back to the comments though. Once again, 109 people here. A lot more than I was expecting because I went on early on a Monday. But I do appreciate you guys being here. Um, we just got back at, I think it was like 2 or something, 2 p.m. from our flight from Orlando. If you're just joining right now, I did go on vacation since last Thursday in Orlando. Um, I don't have... Shit. I just freaking ripped the box. Oh well. I'm going to throw the box away anyway. I don't have uh, an edited video today. I usually do on Mondays, but I did not have any time to edit any video. We were nonstop um, down in Florida. So I do have a fun vacation vlog. There is toy hunting it. There is... Um, toy haul action in it so check that out next monday one more time i'm just gonna do this right now why the hell not we're good on time it's 4 40 i got till 5 14 my time there is are these desert eagles i'm not even sure it looks like one from my limited knowledge of gun skis it looks like a freaking desert eagle and there's the second one i'm not even gonna take the figure out but there he is 
He's a cool looking android, a cool looking robot. Kind of reminds me of uh, the robots from like the Neil Blomkamp movies, like Chappie or what was that first one with the robots in it? Kind of reminds me of that, but it, it's kind of cool looking. So here is Mr. Cena. And let's catch up on comments, guys, while I do this. Uh, let's see here. Kyle said, eh, the wife said that the same thing about the butterbeer. She loved the frozen. I liked the normal. Okay, so there you go. You guys can try for yourself. See which one you like more. Frozen, personally, I thought it was freaking amazing. Oh my gosh, this fits perfectly. All you need is like a big ass, long ass suppressor on this thing. <laughs> the suppressor was just obnoxious on his gun in the movie. But look at that. I mean, it, it's a totally different figure with the guns in the hands. Totally different figure. This, compared to the sword, you could do one hand holding a gun, one hand holding a sword. Let's see how that looks. So there you go. You could do that action right there. That's badass. Or you can do the uh, John Woo style double gun ski. Uh, you get a Mickey's pretzel at Magic Kingdom. I did not. That was actually something I did not get. Uh, I also missed out on... It was something that looked like a big-ass freaking toaster strudel. I really wanted to get that, but I did not come across that. I think it was actually in Toy Story Land, which we were in. And I could have gotten, but I did not get it. There was a few snacks that I really wanted to try, but I did not get around to them. So next time, I did try... Here's another spoiler alert. <laughs> I'm just spoiling the crap out of next week's video. I did try a Simpsons Lard Lad Donut. If you don't know what that is, look it up. It's freaking huge. But there you go. So I would say, personally, the $19 I spent on that AIM Fortnite robot dude, good investment. A, because of these two guns, and B, because he's just a cool-looking robot. So, this Cena figure, this uh, Peacemaker figure, A, I just dropped the frick out of it. B, hopefully I didn't crack a freaking key on my MacBook. Uh, his, it got all jacked up. And then C, look at that. It makes it look like a totally different figure, so. Recommended in my book, guys. Recommended. All right, where are we? I got... Three more items here. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so apparently I wasn't fooling anyone because a lot of you guys guessed that I got that figure for the guns. And it was for Pe Peacemaker. So yes, you guys are up on it. Um, let me catch up though. <clears throat> Holy frick, I missed a lot of comments. Let's see. Toy Avenue, Night of Ren... Night of Ren, Stanley's Toy Channel, George Jr. Holy frick. Let's, you know what? Let's do this. Oh, let me hold these here. Since you already kind of saw one, here's another item that I uh, received from Amazon. Faker, Motu Origins Faker, with the really, really cool looking head sculpt. Very, very reminiscent of the original figure. Not that weird looking modern head sculpt that they've been using for He-Man. But that's a badass figure. I got Faker, Amazon. It was like, what, 13 bucks, 14 bucks, something like that. Pretty cheap. Um, let's see here. All right. They have three exclusive craft beers in Diagon Alley and Hogsmeade, Kyle says. I didn't try any of those. I didn't try any beers, I don't think. Other than uh, Japanese Steakhouse had some, some brewskis there. George Jr., my hometown Orlando, my hometown Orlando in Florida is heavy heat during morning hours and freaking thunderstorm during afternoon. Dude, every single day, every day, every day woke, when we woke up, the sun was out, not a cloud in the sky, beautiful. 3.30 to 4 p.m., thunderstorms rolled in every day. It was crazy, like clockwork. We knew by the second day, okay, we should probably start heading to get an Uber or, or uh, getting ready to leave the park. Um, cause we, it was going to thunderstorm and it, every day it did that craziness. Stanley's toy channels here. Night of Ren is here. Chris deal. We go in November every year and it's the perfect weather. Yeah. We're thinking, I'm thinking January, February, maybe December, January, February. Cause I'd like to see, I don't know if any of the parks do like a whole like Christmas th theme, like lots of lights. I think that'd be really freaking cool to go to. 
Jamalin Parks, you're missing out on that Mafex. It's dope. I might get it. I might get it. If I see it, I haven't watched any reviews of that Mafex Mandalorian, but if I see some reviews and it's it's a it's a can't pass, uh, it's a must get, I might pick it up. Because I'm really into Mafex right now. I'm really into SH Figure Arts. Just love my import stuff right now. Where's Willy Bear? Okay, so Dante Inferno. We had a minor situation with Willy Bear while we were gone, and thankfully our neighbor that was watching our house and watching Willy Bear uh, was aware of the situation. I'll tell you guys what happened right now. It's kind of scary, but thankfully uh, he is fine now, so I'll tell you ahead of time he's fine now. So Tete uh, has uh, asthma, and she takes an inhaler, and uh, she had a new inhaler. And she was deciding whether or not she should bring the new inhaler or the old inhaler Thursday when we were leaving. She decided to bring the old inhaler to use it all up while we were down there. Unfortunately, she left the new inhaler on this bench, which Willie Bear, if he jumps up there, he can get it. If you don't know, if a dog eats albuterol, which is the medicine in an inhaler, a dog can die. Basically, it's like frickin' their, their heart just like... Brrrr, and, um, yeah. So anyway, our neighbor called us the next morning and said, it looks like Will got a hold of an inhaler and it was punctured and he must have eaten it, eaten the medicine because his eyes are open, he's panting and his heart's racing. And we're like, holy crap, can you take him in the ER? So she kept an, an eye on him and she was watching him and he eventually calmed down. He, he, uh, his heart went back to a regular uh, pace. Unfortunately, it did wreak havoc on his stomach. He did uh, have a little bit of the the D <laughs> in the house, so he he uh, he painted the house, <laughs> which we didn't really uh, need. But uh, yeah, that happened, and uh, our neighbor was nice enough to clean up the D uh, that he left behind, and uh, he's totally fine now. So scary, scary situation. Uh, obviously lesson learned never ever to leave an inhaler anywhere near where he can get but I thought I would just share that in case anyone does have a dog uh, that can get into some can get into some uh, trouble sometimes keep inhalers away from dogs holy frick but he's okay he's totally fine uh, Toy Avenue how's it going collecting con CNC how's it going glad you had a great vacation how much time do I have I got 12 and 14, so 26 minutes. Ren says, yeah, I went down to Universal back in 2015 with my high school band. It was hot as frick. So uh, I went to Universal. I can't remember the last time I was there, but honestly, when I went yesterday and the day before, felt like a completely different park. I was at Universal when it first opened. I think it was 1990. I went, I've gone several times from 1990 to like 2005 or six. But I hadn't gone recently, and it it literally didn't feel like the same park. It felt completely different. There was a few buildings that were still standing that I remembered, like Mel's Diner was still there. Some of the same buildings, like the 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 uh, Back to the Future thing, but everything looked different, completely different, totally different park. Uh, let's see here. You're getting Hot Toys armor. I got mine through Pop Collectibles. It's badass figure with minor issues. I'm not aware of the issues. I haven't watched any of the reviews, but I did order it, and I am paying it off, and I think I have one more payment left, but I am excited to get it and add it to the Mando Detolf. Are you going to go see the free guy movie? Hell yes. I'm a big Ryan Reynolds fan. Did you see the TV spot where Ryan Reynolds is all jacked? No, I haven't seen that yet. I haven't watched much TV in the past like five days or so. The only thing I've seen is the Suicide Squad. Steppenwolf looks so innocent in the Snyder Cut. Yeah, he looks badass. Let me show you one more time. This was the first item I showed off. Little McFarlane toys. Steppenwolf. I like the paint. I like all the spikes and stuff. Definitely a cool look. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Glad to catch you. Happy Monday. Trippy Cheese, thank you very much. I appreciate that. How's it going? Andy Davis. Some Tuesday Crew guys are here. I hope to score that new Clown Violator possibly down the line, but I want Clown for sure, Rabbit Hammer says. Is it me or is the Clown kind of expensive? I think he's $39.99. Violator, I can see why he's more expensive because he's a big, thick, freaking huge, heavy piece of plastic, but Violator, 
it doesn't seem like he should be worth 40 bucks. Right? He's $39.99, right? Am I right? Or am I misquoting that? I'm talking about Clown. If I said Violator, I know why Violator is expensive, but Clown seems overpriced to me. I'm still going to probably get it. I'm still probably going to get it, because Clown's a badass character, but he just seems expensive. Trevor McGuire, I've actually been doing some work on Climate Pledge Arena, where the Kraken will play. That's freaking cool, dude. Uh, do you have a favorite funniest moment from Suicide Squad? No spoilers. One of mine was the beginning of the movie with Weasel. Uh, I do have a favorite scene. I have two favorite scenes. I don't want to give one of them away because that's kind of spoilerish. Um, but I'll tell you the characters it involves. It involves uh, Bloodsport and um, Peacemaker. <laughs> I like that scene a lot, and I don't want to say anything about it. The other thing I think they really, really did well is I personally think this is the most badass interpretation of this character I have ever seen on screen. Um, she has been in Suicide Squad. She's been in Birds of Prey. But holy frick, if you guys have seen the movie, you probably know the scene I'm talking about. Total effing badass. And it makes me want to get her Hot Toys figure. If they solicit that thing, or maybe they already have and I haven't, I've missed it, I want the freaking Hot Toys figure of Harley Quinn from the Suicide Squad because she was awesome. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. I like the John Walker cat figure more than the U.S. agent by far. Overlord was amazing, Kyle says. One of the, my all-time favorite. It was such a good movie. Such a freaking awesome movie. Go watch Overlord. If you're a fan of horror movies, thriller movies... Um, World War II war movies. It's like a freaking someone took all those movies and just like mashed them into one, and it's a badass movie. Sweet Spot Network. Hello to everyone. How's it going, Stuart Fulbrook? Glad to see you here. Um, <clears throat> Slapshot says the plane scene at the beginning of Overlord is one of the best World War II sequences ever shot. It is a freaking awesome scene. I totally agree. Um, let's see. John Walker Cap is blue. U.S. Agent is black. Is it really black, though? It looks really, really dark blue to me. When I first got that figure, I'm like, isn't his costume supposed to be black? Because it just looks like a dark shade of navy blue. I know it's supposed to be black, but that figure doesn't look black to me. It, it And it's missing the white stripes. It doesn't look accurate. Um, I don't know. I think they need to do a, a, a proper U.S. Agent. That looks without the A, with with the white stripes, black, not dark blue like mine looks. Um, they gotta do a proper one. Have you seen the Tomorrow War? Yes, excellent movie. Uh, Chris Pratt, very very good movie. I was thinking of Chris Pratt because uh, on the Velocicoaster in the when you're in the line, there's videos that you watch, and Chris Pratt was freaking hilarious in those videos. F so funny. If you've been through the line of the Velocicoaster and you saw the video, it's got Bryce Dallas Howard. Is that her name? Bryce Dallas Howard? I think that's her name. And Chris Pratt's in it. It's freaking, it's very, very funny. Uh, let's see, let's see. Okay, so there's where I asked if you guys can guess why I got that AIM Fortnite figure. Hankins says Peacemaker. Collecting365 said the guns. Stewart says Peacemaker. Dante Inferno says the guns. Jamilin Park says Peacemaker. Yes, you guys are all correct. I have two of those Fortnite robots in 3.75 scale. Very good figs, I think, from Jazz and McFarlane. But good call for the weapons for Cena. John Gunsky Cena. I'm trying to think of a good figure by McFarlane that could have a good gun for Idris Elba's character for Bloodsport. Because his, his gun was awesome. If, if you've seen the movie, you know what I mean, how it how it looks and changes and whatnot. But I'm thinking of just what would be a good gun that I could use for his character. Uh, let's see here. Perfect guns for Peacemaker. FedEx sent my John Walker back to Walmart after they tried to deliver it to the wrong address. That sucks, Kyle. Love Suicide Squad. Whole family enjoyed it, Leon says. The guy with the toilet bowl. <laughs> McFarlane missed the chrome on him. That would be cool to get a, a chromed version. I don't think it's that bad. I mean, they... Let me look at that. Yeah, it could it could be a little more shiny, I would say. Um, 
Liquid Momentum says, oh no, those were at Ross. Oh, there you go, guys. So if you are thinking about equipping Mr. Cena with some gun skis, check your Rosses. It looks like that, uh, that aim figure might be at Ross. Make sure you get the McFarlane version, though. The guns on the McFarlane figures look a lot more realistic than the guns in the Jazz Wars. The Jazz War figures. <clears throat> Ren says, Jeremiah T. Gunsky. <laughs> Thoughts on both the AEW Series 6 wave and the WWE Elite Series 11 Legends wave. Twilight Avenue, I don't remember who's in those waves. Refresh my memory. Uh, I'm sure that I've seen pictures of them, but I don't remember who's in those. Liquid Mem Momentum says, it's not a toilet bowl, it's a beacon of hope. Cena was freaking awesome in that movie, I gotta say. I really, really liked him in uh, F9 also. I thought he was a totally different character. He's not freaking corny in F9. He's just, he's very like, uh, like, uh, what do you call it? Like sh straight faced. He played the character very, very well. And um, I, I really liked his character in The Suicide Squad. Cleveland Brown, Cincy Nerd. Yeah, I know. I'm an Ohio sports fan, guys. I like all Ohio teams. If the Bengals are playing the Browns, I'll root for the Bengals. But I'll root for this team also anytime they're playing any other team. Uh, Baker Mayfield is my favorite player. So maybe Joey Burrow will become my favorite player. But uh, yes, I am Cincy Nerd and I am wearing a Browns hat. Grail640 said that. Um, hello, Shav Gold. Juan Gonzalez, Chick-fil-A Monday. Yes, it is. It is Chick-fil-A Monday. Um, you are correct, sir. Oh, we got a super chat. Let's see what that says. It's not showing up yet. Let's wait for it to show up. You can use the robot as a Star Wars short or repaint it to be in Iron Man colors and could be a Stark bot. That's very cool. Sammy Swoleball, very good uh, idea there. It's crazy that the new Chris Jericho Chase figures sell is going for like 200 bucks on eBay. That's freaking nuts. Uh, the, that donut is so good. Yes, if you're talking about the Lard Lad donut, it is freaking delish. I did not finish it myself. I had some help with that one. So, uh, WTFS1, Super Chat of $4.99. I don't know what you're talking about, but I didn't see John Cena. I just saw a pair of floating white underwear. <laughs> the tidy whiteies. That was hilarious. Thank you for the Super Chat, WTFS1. I appreciate it. And, uh, Cena was awesome in that movie. Uh, Malika says double gun skis is the best move. I agree. I th I'm probably going to keep it just like that. I think the movie poster, he's actually posed just like this. And I do want the movie poster now. Um, let's see. How did you like Galaxy's Edge? I loved it. Loved it. I don't want to give any spoilers away for Dick Galaxy's Edge. Because the, the two items that you're going to see in the hall are from Galaxy's Edge. So you'll see next Monday what I picked up. And I friggin' loved it there. I was like, I was like a 12 year old again, just like awestruck. Um, okay. Let's see. Damn it. Comments jumped. I'm trying to figure out where I was. I'm going to show you the last two items because I got 16 minutes left. So I did find this one, Alita one It is the uh, Netflix version. Unfortunately, if you don't know, uh, her shoulders are done incorrectly. There should be an indentation on the front of the shoulders. Um, this was misassembled, so her indentations are on the back, so she cannot move her arms higher than that. If you see one, and it has the, the little indentation circles on the front, that is assembled correctly, and she can actually have full range. But I wanted to get her because she's drying up, and you can't find her anymore. At least I can't find her anymore. But I got Alita one. She was one of the standouts from Siege. So she's going to stand next to Jetfire in my collection. But I got the Netflix Alita one. And the final item here, I did get another item for the horror shelf. And you could see the, the grin on my face because I love building the horror shelf, guys. I freaking love it. Someone asked me something. I forgot who it was. I apologize for forgetting who asking for forgetting who asked the question. Hell freaking yes, I'd buy a Leprechaun figure for the horror shelf. Hell freaking yes. But that is not what I bought here. This is an ultimate NECA figure for the health. For the health. For the horror shelf. <laughs> Which will now be known as the health. Um, but I got Hellraiser, Pinhead, Ultimate Pinhead. And I have seen this figure multiple times in stores. And I have thought about buying it. But I wasn't doing a horror shelf then. And now that I'm doing a horror shelf, I'm like, hell freaking yes. 
It's time for the horror shelf. Hey, this is the poster. Can you see in the reflection here? Here, let me show you something. Let's see if you can see this. That's the po that's my wallpaper on my on my desktop, and you could see Peacemaker there with the double gun skis. See it? Anyway, um, Pinhead, freaking awesome. Horror shelf pickup. That's the haul, guys. That's what I got while I was gone. I six items while I was gone. That's not bad. Uh, but uh, hell, freaking yes. Yeah. So. Let's see if I can catch up to where the frick I was in the comments. I do want to say thank you to everyone that's here right now. I do want to shout out my buddy Slapshot Toys, who is going to be premiering a video at 6.15 Eastern Time. So in 14 minutes, he's going to be premiering a video on Slapshot Toys, his uh, YouTube page. Did I just say YouTube page? Good Lord. And then after that, uh, I think Craig, not another retro channel, is premiering his video at 6.40. So... A little bit of Sweet Spot Network action tonight. Again, I don't have an edited video tonight. This is my contribution. I appreciate you all being here, but let's uh, catch up to the comments. And let's see, Malika said double gun skis is the best move. I don't give two craps about these. Okay, so those guns go really well with that Peacemaker. Okay, so that was Kyle. Um, Trippy Cheese says especially Moe's Shack. Uh, now we just need guns for Bloodsport, the guy whose power is basically that he makes guns. <laughs> Correct. That's why I'm thinking, like, what's a good gun for Bloodsport that I can, like, just get off of a... I'm sure there's a Fortnite figure that has a good gun, right? I don't give two craps about a DC figure, but that Peacemaker does look nice with the guns. Also, the King Shark doesn't look too bad. Um, I will watch your video later. I'm working at the Hyatt Hotel now. The Hyatt Hotel, very nice. I just stayed at a Hyatt Hotel. Doubletree is where we stayed. Orlando. Front gate of Universal Studios. Uh, did you finish Revelations? If so, thoughts? I did finish Revelation, and I liked it a lot. I really, really liked it. I liked, I really liked Episode 5. That was the final episode. Holy cow. A lot of characters you've never, ever seen before in animation, and it was awesome. It was like a freaking all-star team in that, in that Episode 5. I don't want to say any more in case you haven't seen it, but Revelation was cool. I cannot wait for the next, for Part 2 of Season 1. Yeah, I want to kill... I want that bloody version of King Shark, but it kills me. His legs don't move. Yeah, it's hard to move the legs, but that's okay. It's still... Here he is. I don't have the bloody version. I have the Build-A-Figure version, but... There he is. He was awesome. And... I wore a disguise. <laughs> Freaking awesome. I love that movie. I want to watch it right now. Um, okay, let's see. Universal Grinch, miss. It's so good. Must be the swamp water getting soaked up. <laughs> I'm pretty sure both Disney and Universal go do big Christmas events. Maybe we'll go one of these years. Maybe next year. Uh, Disney's is huge, but you pay the premium. Probably a lot of people there, too, I would assume. Probably a ton of people in December. What's up, Cincy? On vacation 2 feels good. Very cool, Ramses. Hopefully you're having a great vacation, my friend. Uh, Toy Avenue says, if they do make all the Suicide Squad characters in Hot Toys, would you get them all or just specific characters? Yeesh. Here's who I would pick up. Because I love the movie so much. Here's who I would pick up. In Hot Toys form. I want Harley in this outfit. I would get a Bloodsport, because Idris Elba's awesome. I would get a Rick Flag. I really, really like Joel Kinnaman in that movie. Rick Flag was awesome. Uh, yellow shirt. That outfit. Polka Dot Man was cool, but I don't know if I'd spend it on the Hot Toys. King Shark, I'd probably get definitely a John Cena. Definitely a Peacemaker. Probably not a Rat Catcher. Those are probably the ones that I would definitely get. Uh, I would get a Harley in the red dress. Definitely Bloodsport. Definitely uh, Cena. Peacemaker, and definitely a Rick Flag. Those are the ones that I would get. And a King Shark. <laughs> and I think we're getting a King Shark. They already like showed a preview picture of one. I am so glad to hear he is okay, though. Yes, me too. I was freaking... It, it kind of rattled us all. Not, you know, just 100% honest. We were... We heard about it. Our neighbor called. The girls were crying. I was like, oh, this freaking sucks. On our vacation... This is what happened.
but then she like stayed with him watched him um our na- one of our neighbors used to be a vet so that's also very very good but uh, i'm just glad he's doing great and he was very very happy and excited to see us when we got home today but yeah i'm i'm glad that willie bear is still alive and kicking and doing good and he's he's done with his uh his all night bender his albuterol bender um let's see here I'm seeing all the thank you, uh, the glad he's okay. I appreciate that, guys. I really appreciate that. Food is here, and mommy needs your help. Okay, I gotta go, guys, cause uh, uh, Miss Cincy's here with the groceries. I gotta help her unload them, <laughs> and uh, I, I guess Chick Fil A's here too. So hey, thanks for being here, guys. Uh, check out Slapshot Toys. Check out Not Another Retro Channel. Check out my vlog next Monday. Thanks for being here, guys. I'm sorry I didn't get to all the comments, but. Um, I gotta go help out down below. So, adios for now, guys. I said adios again. I'm Rusty. See you around the corner, my friends.